Did you know that sellers and their real estate representatives have a duty according to provincial laws to disclose any defects in a property that might affect a buyer's use and enjoyment of that property? Hey everyone, I'm Manila Gonzalez, realtor in the Northern York region with Century 21 Heritage Group. And if you're interested in buying or selling real estate in Georgina, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I publish new videos every week and you don't want to miss them. There are two kinds of defects the Ontario law differentiates between. One, patent defects. These are problems with a home that are visible to the buyer or to a property or home inspector. These defects are usually easy to see, which is why it's not the seller's responsibility to disclose them to buyers. Visible cracks in a foundation wall, missing safety railings, or stains that suggest a roof leak are all examples of patent defects. The legal principle of caveat emptor, or let the buyer beware, applies to patent defects. It's the buyer's responsibility to look carefully, do their research, ask specific questions, and have the home inspected if necessary, depending on the intended use of the property. If the buyer does not inspect the property before buying and subsequently discovers patent defects, the seller cannot be held liable. Number two, latent defects. They're hidden and they can't be seen under normal inspections. Because latent defects are very difficult for a seller to discover, caveat emptor does not apply. Examples of latent defects include a basement that floods during heavy rainfalls, a major structural problem, hidden fire damage, or even mold. If the latent defect was not known to the seller, the seller cannot be held liable for the defect. However, if it can be proven that the seller knew of the defect and deliberately failed to disclose it, the seller may be held liable, especially if the defect makes a property dangerous or unfit for occupancy. So what does this mean? As the seller, you are not responsible for disclosing patent defects. However, you cannot deliberately hide patent defects, such as painting over leak marks to conceal defective roofing. You are responsible for disclosing any latent defects that you are aware of. If you cover up a patent defect or fail to disclose a latent defect that you are aware of, the buyer may successfully hold you liable. As the buyer, because you are responsible, for discovering patent defects, make sure to hire an experienced and qualified home inspector. You can only hold the seller liable for patent defects if the seller made efforts to hide these defects. You are not responsible for discovering latent defects. However, the seller can only be held liable for these if the seller was aware of them. It's important to be aware of how these two types of defects establish your responsibility as buyer and seller. As always, hiring good realtors, home inspectors, and lawyers is the safest way to avoid headaches down the line. If you have any questions or have experienced this situation before, where you bought a house with problems that were never disclosed to you, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, share it with your friends, and consider subscribing to my channel. I post new videos every week, all about all things real estate related in the Georgina, Ontario area. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next week.